mail, can you receive this link to connect it with the Skype? And the, the test on paper, no, test on paper, I check in my computer. Okay, I'm checking now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six students. It's not yet submit the, the test number one. And remember, we have two, two times, two attendants, and you, I take the highest score. Okay? Okay? Today, tomorrow in the morning, I start grading test. Easy, everything is okay. Nothing is pending. Uh, uh -huh. Mr. Andrews, I have a question. Let me finish. Okay, disculpa. Uh, she has no problem. Yeah, I can grade everything I post in Blackboard. You see, Mister, question. Your question. So, yeah, disculpa, disculpa. Uh, uh, so the first, the test one, that's uh -huh. the one. We have the one on paper and the one on the Alex, right? So the Absolutely. Alex, we just submit from the Alex, right? Yeah. And the yeah. one on paper, you said we email it to you, correct? Exactly. You're, okay. you're, you're, you're positive. Okay. 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 Gracias. Any question? Any question? Any other question? Okay, don't worry. I repeat anytime until you get it. And oh, it will be the same. There's two, three, four, four. Um, um, and final, I suppose can nobody want to take the final. Okay? Uh -huh. Let me go, let me go. Let me go to uh, the board. Say again. I have a question. Go ahead. Um, for the, the, in Alex, where it says module, we don't have to worry about that, no, right? No, you no, 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 no. No, the answer is no. I prepare for you a special homework, a special pretest, and a special test. That's the only thing you you should do. You touch this. The rest, no. The rest okay. is like a, you know, it's like a, it's the storage and what do I get the the, the problem. So I, I get the problem with the model. So when I download or I create the first time the course online, I select the model according to the book. Because of a specific topic inside the book, but I create a specific assignment for you. The rest, no, 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 no. Okay, we start today. Okay, so we just worry about. Yes. We just worry about the homework and the and the test, right? Uh -huh. Two homework, you uh, one test, and the pretend. Okay, right. Pretend for right. Super, no problem. Yeah. Everyone understand right. very Thank well. You. Okay, pleasure, pleasure. Today we start a new topic, easy, easy, easy topic, easy topic, que es about the distance and midpoint formulas. Formulas, and plural, because we have two formulas. Okay, let me recall first how you plot a point on the rectangular coordinate system. I have the rectangular coordinate system. I have, for example, I have the point 6,0, 6,4, 4, sorry. You plot this uh, number indicate the x component and this indicate the y component. Six comma four. One, two, three, plus six and x, four and y. This is the, the location of this point. Let me call point A, capital A, capital A. Uh -huh. Another point may be here, B. Is negative two comma three. Negative two in x is in the opposite direction. Three positive is up here. It's the point B. Uh, by the way, the first point A is located in the first quadrant. The second B is located in the second quadrant. It's a, it's a, it's a region. It's defined after I want to summarize the idea. The point C is the point, for example, for example, minus three comma negative five. This is minus three again is in the opposite direction, minus three x component, y component negative five is down, is this location. C point is located in the third quadrant. Third quadrant is that region. Uh -huh. And D, another point, is Suppose one comma negative, wow. Okay, one comma negative two. 
Uh -huh. One is the X component here, positive in the right direction, and negative two is down here. This is the point D. Is by the way, it's located in the fourth quadrant. So basically, uh -huh, a first quadrant, you identification when the component X is positive and component Y is positive, both positive, like this example, plus plus. Uh -huh. Suppose que X is negative and Y is positive. The X is negative, Y is positive, second quadrant. Suppose que both are negative, less than zero, less than zero, both negative, like this example. It's the third quadrant. See, X is positive and Y is negative. It's the fourth quadrant. X is positive, Y is negative, fourth quadrant. Uh -huh. We have another special point. It's located, for example, in, the, in between the boundary between the quadrant. For example, the point E is the point, for example, 4, comma 0. 4, comma 0 is located here, exactly on the x-axis. Uh -huh. And the point F, suppose que is 0, comma 3. 0, comma 3 is 0 component x, and there's no motion to the right or left, you know, 3 up because it's positive here. This is the point F, it's located exactly on the y-axis. Okay, I suppose que you know that perfectly. Yes or no? Yes or no? Do you remember very well? Yes, yeah, I remember. Okay, okay, listen to me now. Pay attention uh -huh. and try to understand. I present to you now one special software. The, the, the name is Desmos. I don't know if you see before in your life or no. In high school. It's very, very popular because it's the software, it's a program that allows us to do the graph of the any function, uh -huh, but online. Online, and you don't need to download anything. It's free, no money, it's beautiful, nice, 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 elegant, and totally online. Therefore, you don't need to download anything. The only thing you should do is go to www.desmos.com. Uh -huh. And you see something like that. I present to you now. Let me see. Oh, no. Wait, wait a second. Here. Okay. There you go. This is the guy. Ashley, how's it going? Do you see my face? I saw your face. Okay. I can see this. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you see Desmos? Mm -hmm. look, look at Desmos. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Look at that, the, 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 the address. Uh, www.desmos.com Slash calculator now, because you can see now you open, I'm sorry, I recommend today you create one account in Desmo. Look, this is my account. Look, this is my name. You see it's my name? Uh -huh. It's because this is my Desmos. And you create your own Desmos with your name, no? Uh -huh. And the only information you need to provide is one email address, maybe Miami Day College address, whatever you want, and one password that you define. That's it. Uh -huh. Let me show you the power for, and we're using every day from today, this software. Suppose que, this is my rectangular coordinate system, nice, super nice. Yeah, I plot the point. The point is easy. Look, I recommend using the keyboard directly of this. You click here, this is the special keyboard. You can use your own keyboard in the laptop, no? Or, or, smart, or smartphone, whatever, the, your device. However, I recommend using this because we have a lot of important symbols, mathematical symbols. You, for example, you open parentheses, you put six comma six comma four. Bang! And you see the red point. Uh -huh. And also, you put the bull, the label, the identification, the position. I put the label six comma four and red color. You can change the color. You can. You press the icon here of the color. You press the Click the mouse, the left mouse, but you hold 
And when you hold, you see the different color. Suppose que I like blue, I select blue. Now my poem is blue. Okay? And this is the element example, but we can, okay, okay, we can separate by comma if you want, or another line. Let me, let me show you another. Comma, uh, suppose negative three, comma five. Okay, in the third quadrant, in the second quadrant, so. What are the only disadvantage that you have in the same line? Ah, you have the same color. Okay, you have different color. You press enter in your computer, and you again open parentheses, and you put another number, for suppose negative five comma negative three. Uh -huh, but no, 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 I don't want blue, I want, I want purple. Color. Okay. Uh -huh. Now I put the label for the identification, I have another point, and inside I have another purple color, suppose one comma negative three, and the third and the fourth quad. Boom, I have point, now I create a point in any quad. I create in the, in the first, second, third, and fourth quad. Uh -huh. However, if you want to see more uh, elegant, well, depending on you, know, you believe it's elegant or not, you click here on that tools, and you put projector mode. And the projector mode, you see, a little bit bigger, right? And more clear. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're using every day. We're using today. And we're using throughout the course. You call it algebra, always. So you are doing the graph in the in the paper? No. You are doing in this. So in the test, you can do the graph in the paper? No. Why not? Because you can print out this a function or point or whatever you want, no? Uh -huh. so let me show you one more thing, important, 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 and nice, look at that. Uh, you click here in this plus in order to add items. Of course, the item most popular we are using is folders. Uh -huh. so inside this folder, I put inside this document and this document. And you can see a, a one a small thing, line, gray color, no? Okay, connecting this. And when you press this symbol, boom, condensing everything, and this, okay, this is my first example. Or whatever you want to call, Maria, I don't know, Jose, Jorge, okay? And suppose that I want to do the second example, and you press the button here again. And this is a good idea for the organization. This is the second. Example or whatever, or probably or whatever. Example. Do you like it? Say something. Coño. Yes, no. Do you like or you don't like? Free, beautiful, elegant. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Super. Fantastic. Okay. This is the yeah. new technology. Uh, and in Colorado, we're using this, in Precalco, we're using this, and another more sophisticated. But nobody doing the graph yeah. using paper. Everyone doing Desmos. Okay, let me start new problem now. Okay, let me go to the theoretical part now. Theoretical part. Theoretical part. Okay, the theoretical part now. Here. Here, top sharing, go to the board. Mm -hmm. Do you see the board? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. Erase everything in this board. Okay. Now let me try to prove in easy way the formula for the distance and the formula for the yeah. point in two dimensions. In two dimensions. Suppose, suppose, suppose. Okay, we have a rectangular coordinate system. Well, let me use in the official rectangular coordinate system I have here, one image. Okay, here. Okay. Suppose it's rectangular coordinate system. Because I have two points. 
one point here, I want to call, okay. I want to call this point, I want to call P1. And another point here, maybe here, I want to call P2. And what's my goal? My goal is fine to try to prove the uh, formula to determine the distance. The distance is you connecting P1 and P2 by one segment line. I need to find the length of this segment line. And this is called a distance. Distance P1, P2. Segment. Okay, this is easy or relatively easy because, for example, we can find in one dimension the distance. Uh -huh. In one dimension, in one dimension, but vertical, the distance. Uh -huh. And we form a right triangle. We form a right triangle. Nice. My goal is find this distance. I want to call D. This distance is super easy because look at that. I assume in general, in this case, is 1, 1. But in general, the coordinate is x1 comma y1 in general for a hypothetical point and p2 is x2 p2 x2 y2 sorry now in order to find that distance you're subtracting the x component you're subtracting this and this uh, and you're subtracting x2 minus x1 so basically it doesn't matter can you take the bigger or the smaller because actual value fixes everything huh? Actual value, remember, we study actual value. Actual value is distance. It's always positive quantity. Likewise, in order to find this, you subtracting the y, y2 minus y1. We both can order two and do it in different order, one minus two, but when you compute actual value, it becomes positive. But this is one dimension problem, one dimension. And two dimension, the thing is a little bit more complicated. Uh -huh. But it's easy because we have a triangle, and this triangle is right triangle. This corner is 90 degrees. So the formula to find the distance is the Pythagorean theorem. And the Pythagorean is square root, big square root. And you're subtracting, for example, the x, x2 minus x1, you square, plus y2 minus y1, and you square. And find the square. So basically, to find the distance uh, horizontal, que subtracting the x, uh -huh. you find the distance vertical in one dimension, uh, subtracting the y, and plugging in, in the formula, the is a square both, uh, adding, and finally, uh, find the square, and you get the distance. This is the fo distance formula. It's the first formula that we're using today. The second formula is midpoint. Ooh, what is midpoint? Midpoint is here. Remember, P1 was this point, P2 was this point, but we have in the middle of the segment, we have a midpoint. Midpoint is the point in the middle. So that distance, I suppose, is D over 2, and this distance is D over 2, and this guy is called a midpoint. Midpoint. Uh -huh. The midpoint normally is present by x sub m because m is a midpoint no? and y sub m. So in order to find the point, the midpoint is x sub m comma y sub m. This is the component x, this is the component y. And the formula is super easy. You, you average the component. x1 plus x2 divided by 2 because we have two points. y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And this is the formula. To find midpoint. Wow, it's easy. Question. Theoretical part. Now let's go directly to the problem. Example. Do you understand or no? Any question, guy? No? Easy. It's a kindergarten part, no problem. This is just review. Okay, let's go, let's go now to the example. The first example is easy. I put always the first example easy, and the second, no, I put it complicated, right? The example one is, look. Uh-huh, 
uh, find the distance. A mi point. Both. Uh -huh. Of the point is given it is negative four comma zero and plus the four comma six. Okay, super. Do you want to do in decimal or, or in paper? Decimal or paper? What do you think? What do you recommend me? There's more. Okay. Now, Fisa Flora say there's more, Professor. Much better, more elegant. Let's do it. Okay. There's a negative four. I, I open this most. Switch into this most. Now, let me see. This is demo, yeah. Switch it window. Okay. Do you see this more? Oh, no. Not yet, no? Now, yes. Uh -huh. But unfortunately, we see the sample one. And the sample one, I put it on enable. I don't want to see. I want to put the example two. The example two contain two points. The point, remember, was a negative four. I open, the, I open here. You put a parenthesis in your own keyboard. Or you put a parenthesis inside the keyboard of this one. So you put negative four, click negative four. Ow. Oh. Double negative, delete. Negative four comma zero is my first point. And my second point separated by comma, parenthesis, four comma six. Uh -huh. Okay, enter. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. Ah, yeah, yeah, I understand. I put period, no comma. This is comma. There you go. This is the, I select black color. Do you like black color or no? It's good black color, right? And my goal is find the a segment line here, the length. But let me put the label to identification. We are doing well or no. Okay, the segment line here, be connecting this and this. Okay, maybe it's complicated doing this much, a little bit. No. But it's not important now. The important thing is find the distance of this segment, no? Uh, so I come back to the board and after we find the midpoint, no? Okay, so says the board, the board, the board, the board, the board, the board. Switch the board, switch the board. I have the board now. Board here. Again, the board. Okay, I use my famous formula. What is my firm formula? Distance P1, P2. Segment. This is P1, I, I assume. And this is P2, I assume. Well, not necessarily. Since you suppose two here and one here, it doesn't matter. The answer doesn't change. Square root. I have big square root, long square root. And you subtracting x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. This is the formula. And who is this guy? This is the p1, so this is component x1, y1, and this is x2, y2, no? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So in my formula is a square root, You're subtracting the x component. Look, let me show you another color. x1, x2, this is four, look, four minus, minus four. Is square. Do you understand this? This minus is the minus of the formula. However, this minus is the minus of the value of a negative. Plus, parenthesis. Uy, a dog. A dog no, no, don't participate in the lecture. Y2 is 6 minus Y1 is 0. Okay, nice. Okay, do, double minus become positive. This is square root, big, big square root. It's a four plus four, no? Because double minus, become positive, square. Plus, uh -huh, and six minus zero is six, square. Uh -huh, it makes sense that this situation happens. Let me try to interpret geometrically this. 
in one dimension. This is my real line, x value, x axis. This is zero in the middle. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and negative four. What is the distance between negative four and positive four? Oh, well, the distance between positive four and negative four is that distance. And this distance is four plus four is a. That is the reason that four plus four is a. And the answer is square root a square plus six square. This is 64, this is 36, it's a 100, and the square root 100 is 10. So the, 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 the length of the segment line that connects the P1 and P2 is equal to 10. Okay? This is the distance. I need to find midpoint, but I, I, I want to come back. You, Everyone follow me, guys? This was clear? This was easy? Understandable? Yeah. Yes, of course, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, okay, I understand, I understand, yeah. sorry. Okay, now I want to go now to, to, to Desmos because I want to predict. Prediction, 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 what? Prediction the, the midpoint. The prediction the midpoint. The prediction the midpoint, let me try, let me try. No, 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 more. Uh, that's here. They will. Okay. If you connect the, if you connect the, so using your imagination, if you connect the now, this point and this point using segment line, I suppose that the midpoint is is close to this location. Yes or no? Look, suppose that I connecting this and this by segment line. Midpoint should be should be a point like that. I suppose that is, let me try here, separate by comma, parenthesis, uh -huh, 0, 3. I suppose that is 0, 3, right? Using my intuition, boom. This is my point. Yes or no? Makes sense or is or it's confusing? I connect in this and this by segment line, and the middle of the segment line is 0, 3, que is the main point. Okay, let me be verification this idea, but I need to verification now. Uh, algebraically, no? Algebraically. Okay. This is the board now. And the formulas for the midpoint was x midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2. And the ym is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And who is x1, ay1, I forgot. x1 is negative four. And x2 is positive four. The, the calculation is negative four plus four divided by two. This is zero. Divided by two is obviously zero. And y1 and y2 was zero and six. Ooh. It says zero plus six divided by two is three. Six divided by two is three. And exactly, we predict. We predict the point zero comma three. This is the x of the midpoint. This is the y of the midpoint. Any question? Please go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Confusing. Now I, we have now more complicated example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to understand very well this example. Do you understand very well this example? Trivial? Elementary? Okay, super. Okay, so we have another more complicated problem. Okay, let me erase the bar. Erase. Erase, erase, erase. You copy, guy, or you take a picture, or you watch the video again, and you copy in, in your notebook. What is your style? Copy one now. Copy now. Are you copy already? I can erase. May I? Yeah. Okay. Copy, copy. Okay. Okay. Let me complicate your life now. Suppose this problem is a problem number. What number is? Number two? No? Number no. Number three. Example three. Remember. And example three, we have three points. We have the point A, which is the point to negative two, sorry, comma one. We have the point B, mm -hmm. is the point two comma three, 
and we have the point C is the point 3 comma 1. Okay, and we play the game of the 3 point A, B, C. The first thing you should do is plot each point. On the rectangular coordinate system, no? and when you plot this, you form a B C one triangle, a B C triangle. Is the first job easy? Number two mm, is find the distance. Distance because it's plural. What distance? A B, comma B C, comma A C. Three distance. No? This is easy. It apply the, the distance formula three times. Selection x1, y1 in each case, and apply the formula. Number number C is verify verify if the triangle is right or not. Okay, verify if the triangle is right or not. Let me recall what is the right triangle. Right triangle is something like that. This corner, I oh, don't know, no, it's no good. Okay, delete, delete, delete. Okay, corner, right corner. Let me try to do my best. No good, coño. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, don't worry for this. Oh, nice. It's a 90 degree. It's a definition, right? It's equal to say that the one corner, at least one corner, is 90 degree. And the side opposite to the 90 degree is called a hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. And the other is let. Let, let. Or let, like that, let. And they suppose the hypotenuse I call C. And uh, let A, B. And when the, when the triangle is right, Satisfy the Pythagorean theorem and the Pythagorean theorem say that hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of two letters. Okay, so this is the fantastic way to verification if it's right triangle or not. Because you have the distance in between the, the vertex and you square two smaller and adding and it's equal to the, the bigger because the hypotenuse square. See, this statement is true. You can affirm it as right triangle. Otherwise, no. And finally, find the area. Area is the formula one half base and high. It's the famous, famous formula in geometry to compute the area for the one triangle. Do you understand the problem? Do you understand the problem? Good or no good? Let's start. What should I do first? Uh huh. What should I do first? Plot the point. What do you propose to me? Using paper or using Desmos? Desmos or Desmos again? Okay. 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 Perfect. Uh huh. Do so I go back to Desmos? Look at that. We try, try, try. Desmos, Desmos, Desmos. Wow. Desmos, 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 switch into Desmos. Okay, Desmos. Minimize everything. Desmos. Okay, good. Uh -huh. so this is also example two. Mm -hmm. Now, example three, no? I create another folder, maybe. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, let me let me press here plus addition folder. And this I want to call triangle. Triangle. Tri triangle, 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 try, try, I-R-I-A, triangle. Okay, it's a name I put because I want triangle something. Okay, I plot the point. What is the point? The point A is the first one, is parentheses minus two comma one. I plot in green color. I don't know why I like green color. Another point is uh, 2,3. Uh, 
Uh -huh. Y the last boy is the boy. Eh, 3,1. Okay, there you go. And this is my triangle. When you connect in this, this, and this, let me make it zoom to see much better, right? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, perfect. This is the idea. Okay, let's come back to the board because I need to put the calculation. Okay, calculation in the board now. Board, board, switch it to the board. Uh, this is my board. Switch it to the window. Minimize, minimize. This board again, all right? Okay, let's go to the. Yeah, I did the. I did the first. The first step. I did that. Done. Now the complicated part, not complicated, long part is find the distance. Let me try to find the distance in between, <coughs> distance between A and B. Professor. Please. Can you go up so I can take a picture, please? Yes. What do you want? The the the, the questions and the board? Yeah. Go ahead. Let me know when you finish. Go? Sure? I'm finished. I'm finished. Okay, good. Very good. Uh huh. This time, this time is big square root. And you open two parentheses. Uh huh. And inside the parentheses, you subtracting here the x component and here the y component. And between a and b, look, let me use the intuition. This is x1, y1, x2. Y two. Basically, the thing that you should that you should do is subtraction the x component like that. Ba, 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 ba. Minus two and uh, minus two. What is the answer? Minus two minus two. Or oh, doesn't matter the order. Two positive minus minus two. What is the distance? When you subtracting the x component, what is the answer in your opinion? What is the distance in one dimension? Speaking in one dimension. What is the distance between negative two and positive two? Okay, guys. Four. Very well. You are the best. Ovino Romero. F four. Everyone understand F four? Good. Now, similar. We can put the distance in between the y component. Okay, three minus one. Three minus one. Three minus one is three minus one. Is two. Is two. Is two. Three minus one is two. It's obvious it's two. Uh -huh. Therefore, you you square both. This is sixteen. This is four. This is twenty. And this is perfect. You leave it like that. You can. Oh oh oh! If you want simplification a little bit, you break it down. This is four and five. Because I know the square root four is two. This is two radical five. This is equivalent. Leave it like that. It's good. Leave it like that. It's good. Either way, I found the distance in between A and B. Now I find the distance between B and C. It doesn't matter the order, guys. I said this order, but it's okay. You put a big square root, you open two parentheses, square square. Uh -huh. And he, remember, in the first parenthesis, you're subtracting the X component, and the second, you're subtracting the Y component. Let's come back. BC, but BC is the X component in between B and C. Look. Is this? Is this component two, three? You subtract in either order: two minus three or three minus two. I suppose it's easy. Three minus two is one. No? Three minus two is one. Three minus two is one. I copy here, big one. And you subtract it now in the second parenthesis, the y component. The y component is uh, three minus one get two. Get two. Get two. So it says one square one. Two square root four, this is five square root five. Uh -huh. Leave it like that because the square root five is irrational number. This is a rational number. This is also a rational number. But leave it like that. It's good. It's good. It's, it's correct answer. Leave it like that. No, no, no more simplification. No decimal approximation. No, no. It's confusing. Now, the, finally, the distance between a and c, no, is the last distance. It's a big square root again. Separate two parentheses. You subtracting. You know. The x component here, the y component here, but in between a and c, so in between a and c, wow, is 
A and C. Okay, A and C. A and C. Well, A and C is 3 and negative 2 or negative 2 minus 3. What is the distance, in your opinion, between 3 and negative 2, guys? What is the distance between? Uh -huh. FI. Very well. Union door sake FI. Everyone understand FI? Sure. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Somebody don't understand? I need to explain using auxiliar uh, graphic. Oh, no. It's clear, right? Uh huh. Now help me with the distance and the y. The distance and the y is whoa, 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 whoa. The distance and the y is look. A zero. A zero. Very, very well. One, one, because this point is located in the same level of the y. So say one minus one is zero. No distance. Super. So say, that was five. You help me. To understand this and what this was zero and a square root of five square root 25 and a square root 25 f wow fantastic we finish the question b okay find three distance bam 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 now verify if this triangle is right triangle or no uh -huh. we can use in desmos we can see in desmos yes possible or impossible Using your common sense, eh? let me come back to this more, but quickly using the common sense, you say, yes, professor, right or no? Okay, let me come back to this more to understand this. Okay, switching to this more. Okay. Okay. What do you think? It's right triangle or no? When you're connecting this, this and this and this, it's right triangle, yes or no? No, uh, Jovino say, Romero, Jovino say, no, no, no. Another opinion, okay, the student can believe, no. Everybody uh, say, no, no, no. No, definitely no, professor. Uh, the student can believe, okay, yes, let me know. And uh, no, let me know. Come on, come on, everyone participation. Yes, Jordan say, okay, yeah. wow, we have division. Some people believe that okay, yes, and other people say here, you say yes. Okay, the only thing you should do is rotate a little bit your, your head. If you rotate your head, maybe you can see. But I want to prove mathematically. I want to prove mathematically. And Andreina, I say yes. Okay, to say division. A student, some, a student believe that okay, yes, another student no. But this is a moment to prove mathematically. Okay, yes. Okay, let's see. I'm switching to the board. Okay, good. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, okay. Let me go to the board. You see more now? Okay. Uh huh. We have three distance. Distance AB. Okay, the answer was radical 20. Do you remember that? Look at it here. I put the radical 5, but that's okay. Let me write that. Distance between B and C, it was radical 5. And distance between A and C, it was 5, just 5. Look, 5, no radical. Uh -huh. What do you suppose is the bigger number? Tw uh, radical 20, radical 5, or radical, or, or just 5? What, is, what do you suppose is the bigger number? To compare, what is the bigger here? What is the bigger here? What is the bigger? 5 is the bigger, yes, absolutely. Five is the bigger because you put in the calculator a square root 20. Let me try my calculator now. Uh, 20 square root is oh, yo, yo, what the hell? Square root 20 is four points on four point 47. And this is two points something. Well, this is obvious because it's smaller, but the big guy, F5, the smaller. And this is the hypotenuse. In my triangle, I might have remember the formula for Pythagoras c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So the CFI, phi squared, should be I claim that I'm not sure it's true. Hey, noise! Hey, noise! Putting off the microphone. And a, I suppose that this is radical 20 square, and this I suppose is radical 5 square. 
it is a 25. This is a 20, no? Because a square and a square root cancel out. And this is 5. Wow, 25 is equal to 25. This statement is true. Therefore, our triangle is right. The only problem is it gets look like that. Look, a little bit like that. Well, this is the hypotenuse. And this corner is 90 degrees. Oh, no good. Something like that. And this corner. And, hey, no more dog. Putting off microphone, please. Off microphone, please. Ay, carajo. Off microphone, please. And the last step is the area. Area is one half the base. Multiplication by the height. Uh -huh. Who is the base? Who is the height? Well, this this segment this segment it was what the hypotenuse was five. This segment was a radical five, and this segment was radical twenty. No. Uh -huh. The base is you select either. Suppose you select the base this f i. We need to find the height, because the distance from the opposite vertex to the base. Yeah, I don't know this segment. However, if you rotate your head one more time, and you assume that this is the base. Look, suppose that this is the base now. This is, this is the height, because the perpendicular is 90 degrees. Ah, because it's easy. The area is one half, the base is, suppose que is radical 20, and the height is the opposite, que es radical 5, because they are perpendicular. And we put together, is radical 100, the 20 times 5 100, radical 100 is 10, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 is square, square unit. I don't know what unit, si es inches, si es feet, si es centimeter, si es meter, but it's a square unit. Because depending on the unit we are working on our problem. Okay. Any question, guy? Any question? Me point. This the formula. That's five square units. Yeah, square unit, square unit, square unit. Suppose que I declare at the beginning that this dimension gets given is in centimeter, linear centimeter. This three, two, one, bam, 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 is linear centimeter. Uh -huh, centimeter to say my area is square centimeter like that. Chum, chum, chum. I declare que it's no centimeter, it's inches to say it's a square inch. That's all. Any question? Do you understand very well distance formula and midpoint formula? No problema. Do you need time to copy something or no? Or erase the board? Erase, erase, or no erase? I want to race. Yes, a race. Okay, I did that. Okay, the next topic in which we using the distance formula is a circle. Circle. What is the definition of the circle? Circle is the intuitive idea of the circle is the set of the point in 2D so on the plane XY such that have the same fixed distance R. So we have the center. Center, center. I don't know why in the book normally it's called the center, the coordinate H comma K. The H represents like X component and K represents the Y component. But a specific H comma K is the center of the circle. Another figure called in different name, but H and K normally in the books is represented by that. So you need to define two pieces of information, two pieces. The first piece is the center, and the second piece is the radius. And the radius is the distance from the center to any point on the circle. This is my circle, and this is the point X, comma. Suppose that we have big, big circle. Ah, see, we have a small, okay, and this distance is radio R. 
little r radius. So to define a circle, we need two pieces of information. We need center. The letter we use for the center, h comma k is a convention, and radius. And radius is little r equal little. Uh, if you want to define the formula for the circle, equation, formula, equation, to define a circle, that basically is any point on the circle, this, 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 infinity, around. Uh, you apply the distance formula one more time. Distance between center and any point, arbitrary point. Let me call center like a C, and arbitrary point I want to call P. Distance between PC, second. Boof. PC segment is a big square root. Uh, I use subtracting here the x component, no? and the x component is x. Okay, I put arbitrary because I I try to find a, a equation in general x minus h. Look. Because h represents the x on one. You subtract the x, x. In this case, this x is called x. It's a redundant, it's the same name, but it's okay. And this x is h. Uh, and the y subtraction is y minus k. And this distance, I know, is equal to r. It's the radius. The name of this distance is called r. If you, if you now square both sides, because I want to eliminate the square root. We have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal r squared. Wow, fantastic. And this is the formula. Okay, the, the technical name of this equation is a standard, a standard for of equation of circle. Come on, putting off the microphone. Off the microphone, everyone. A standard four of the equation of the circle. This is a standard. This is a standard. Uh, I promise that today we study another form, not necessarily standard. Okay, let me put elementary examples. Typical example. Professor, can you scroll up so I can take a picture? I'll take a picture. Okay, fine. You take a picture and your smartphone? Yes. No, you can. Well, either way, you can. <laughs> you can do the a screenshot. Yeah, like that. That's what I do. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Super. No problem. Okay, let me try. You 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 did that? Okay, one example. Yeah. One example now can illustrate yeah. very well. One example, example, example. Can illustrate very well the formula for the circle. Suppose that I need to write the standard form again of the equation with the one a specific circle with the center. Let's look at the point. At the point two comma eight four. And whose radio is equal four? Okay, okay. So I use utilization this formula. Uh, I open parenthesis square. I put a parenthesis square. And I know this R square here. Uh -huh. Let me start for the R square. R is 4. Therefore, in the equation, you put 16. Where come from 16? 4 is square. Because in the formula, you see R square. So on the right hand side of the equation of the circle in a standard form, you square the radius. You square the radius. In the left hand side, it's easy. You put X and Y because this is a variable X and Y in 2D, in the plane 2D. And H and K, be careful, because my formula have a minor here. However, in my point, I have X. Well, no, X, this is actually, this is no X, this is H, no? H is two. 
h is 2. And my problem. So you plug it in, it's minus 2. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. It's, it's in the point, is positive. However, in the formula, in the equation, is negative. Opposite sign. Why? Because we have a negative here. And this negative change completely the idea. So in the case, k, k is negative 4. So the center is located in the point negative 4. Well, is well, is negative of the formula, negative of the value together become positive. Boom. This is my answer. This is the equation of the circle in standard form to satisfy this condition. Send it in 2, negative 4 and radio is equal to 4. Any question, guy? And do you believe I feel good with this answer? No. No, I want to see in this one graphically. Okay? Let's move on. Two decimals. I create a new folder. Uh, example, what number of the example is this? I don't remember. Example four, no? A four. I don't remember. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Two decimals. Decimals, decimals, decimals. Switch into decimal. This is decimal now. Minimize sky, minimize white bar. Decimal. Okay, this was example. Ah, I call triangle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't like this name. Well, okay, it's, it's a good name. Let me, oh, oh, I forgot to put this point inside the document. Okay, and put on enable and create a new one. A new one I call example four. Okay, order example four. Example four, I like that. And example four, we have the information that we have is the point. If the point was remember, 2 comma negative 4. 2 comma negative 4. Okay, this is my point. Ah, double comma. Mistake. When you see this symbol, indicate mistake. This is mistake. Because I make it 2 comma, no? This is totally wrong. Okay, this is my point. And black color. Do you like black color? So you don't like no problem. Now, 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 in the second line, I press enter again. I put equation. What was the equation that we discovered? The equation that we discovered, we found in the paper was, look, parentheses, x minus 2, uh, close the parentheses, s squared, the square is here, it's easy, plus parentheses, y plus 4, 4, uh -huh, parentheses, s squared equals 16, no? Equal 60. Boom, pata boom, pata bam. This is my circle. Let me verification, guys. Suppose que, bueno, in the test. Okay, okay. I need to verification. I need to verification okay, the radius form. But it's easy to see because look, from the center to any point on the circle, suppose we walking north. One, two, Three and four. By the way, this point is the point to comma zero, and this is uh, the distance. It's obvious that they are not distant in x component to two, and we have four distance. I don't care the sign because the distance I know is always positive. So the radius four. Nice. Exactly. We predict in the equation. And here is negative. What is the distance in between two and two? Zero. What is the distance between negative four and negative eight? It's also four. Uh, and in the north and the south direction, maybe if you want to make sure you create two additional points. Suppose okay, I create the point to the right and to the left, I separate by comma. This point would be, let me see, uh, this is point one, two, three, four. A uh, six comma negative four. Wow. Let me see if you are right, Mr. or not. Six comma negative four. Super, you are the best. And uh, who helped me with the second and the left part? You move to the left, you decreasing the x component for unit. So say, say, parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. Who helped me with the component? This is, I suppose, it's negative two, no? Because it's the, 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 the center is here. One. Two, 
three and four. And this is negative two. Negative two comma, comma what? Negative four. Because the motion was horizontal and the component, okay, nice. Nice, Does we have the set completed, this, this and this. Four point, north, south, east and west. Con four points is enough. Bueno, we have another here. This is weird. We have another here. Wow, we are rich. We have one, two, three, four, five, six points. North, south, east, west, and the intercept. Y and set. And the X and the set is coincident with this one. Super, super fantastic. Let me know, guys. Si you understand or you don't understand the graph. Okay, okay, okay. Listen to me. The test is very, very complicated. In the test, we have one question. Let me see. In the test, we have one question that is easy. Find the distance between two points. Good, this is a piece of the Another question that is also easy, that is fine. Find the midpoint between two points. Uh, this is also easy. But we have another question in which you need to, o sea, I give you the center, I give you the radio, and you need to control on the paper the uh, graph of the circle. We can do in Desmos, but you need to rewrite on the, on the test. Okay? This is clear? Okay. Let me explain the complicated part. I don't know why always the complicated part is the last part. Always the complicated part is always the last part. Always okay, 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 okay. Listen to me. We have another another way to express the equation for the circle. It's called general general form, general form of equation of circle. Now we studied before standard. Remember, right? Standard is this guy. In standard, everything is clear. So everything is easy. This is standard. But we study now general. General is a little bit confusing. Uh -huh. uh, uh, suppose this example. Let me try to explain using example. Suppose, suppose, suppose x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y plus 12 equals to 0. The most important characteristic of the general form is that the right-hand side is 0. Is 0, always. And they organize the, the term. You put the quadratic first, and you put the linear second. And finally, you put the, the, the number that do not contain variable. This is the typical format for the general form. Uh -huh. Entonces, now, in the test, of course, we practice more, but no, not today. We practice in the review package. In the, in, in the test, I give you the equation in general. Entonces, the step is you transform it from general to standard uh -huh, for, and also this is easy to graph. Okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it now. This is the most important moment in our class today. Uh, conversion from general to standard. Uh -huh, we apply one more time the technique of the complete the square. If we study for solving quadratic equation, but we, study, we use it now. Okay, the organization that I propose is the following organization. You you copy x squared, exactly the same. I bring down. You copy four because you're grouping somehow the x variable. Uh -huh. Plus, yeah, I put a box. This box, remember, is a magic number that completes the square. I don't know exactly what is that, but I, let me try. Now, I continue walking. It's y squared. You put it now the y bar minus 6y plus another box 
Okay, this box is the second number that complete the square for the white bar. In the right hand side, I move 12. And of course, two boxes. Because if you introduce artificially two numbers in order to complete the square, and the left hand side, you put the same number in the right hand side in order to doesn't affect our equation. No? Okay, I need help. What is the first number that you believe can put in the first box in order to complete the square of this triangle? Four. 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 Where come from this four? Where come from? Where come from? This four. D, D is equal to four divided by two to the second okay. power. Absolutely perfect, mister. B is four. He said B is four divided by two is two and two is square is four. Nice. And what about the second? Nine and nine because six, I don't care the sign, the sign is not important. Divided by two is three and three is square and nine. Okay, do you introduce artificially one four for the first trinomial at the x component and the second gets y component? No, okay, okay, okay. Now, after that, I put okay, let me make it soon. Uh huh, you put four here and nine, 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 four. Or nine in green color, four in, in blue color. Okay. Now factorization. Factorization. I know that this is a perfect square trinomial I create for this moment. Therefore, the factorization is only one parenthesis because it's perfect square. The, the factor is twin brother. This is x plus two. Where I come from this x is square root x. Where I come from this two is square root four. Plus. Plus. Parenthesis in green color. Y is square root this and square root nine is three. And minus because this sign is minus square. I forgot a square here. Sorry. Because it's x plus two times itself. And the right hand side, we have a four and nine together, 13, and 13 minus 21. Boom. Ready. This is my elegant equation expressed in a standard. Wow, fantastic. Now, who helped me to continue? What is the center? Where is located the center of this circle? At the beginning, I have no idea. This guy, I have no idea. Because in general, it's impossible to see. What is it, what is, and what point is located the center? At the point? Who is H? Who is K? Who is H? Who is K? Who is H? Who is K? It's the center. And this specific example, who is H? Who is H? Negative two. Negative two, uh-huh. And positive three. Remember, wow. this is the most confusing moment. Exact, no, Jovino. Remember, Jovino, we compare with this equation that you assume the negative. Remember, we derivate this for the distant formula. Therefore, I can see. Wow, it's a plus here. Why a plus? Because it's minus minus two. The h value is minus two. To say yeah. I, when I plug, okay, when I plug in here, double minus become positive. And k no, k is positive three, because this minus is the minus of the formula. So this is the center. The center is located at the point negative two comma three. Uh -huh. What about radio? Well, radio is easy. Because radio by coincidence is one. Remember, this is radius square, but this is by coincidence, r squared is one, therefore r is one, because the square root one is one. See, it's another number nine, because the square root nine is three. Okay, so basically, my uh, original circle is this ugly. I discover using complete square technique. The center is located at the point negative two comma three and the radius one. Now the graphing moment. The graphing moment. Do you want to do it in paper or do you want to do it in decimal? Let's do it in paper at least one time because in the test, well, in the test, in the test you are smart. Paper, okay. In the test you are smart. I have a question. Have a question. Go ahead. How did you get negative two when it's x minus two to the second power? Wouldn't that be a positive? 
or I'm sorry. And which one? Uh, uh, what, what line you say? This line? Yeah, how, how did you get center negative 2, comma 3? Ah, good question. Because in the first trinomial, in this trinomial, I can see that this sign is positive. And this sign is this sign, aromatic, copy and paste. But in the second trinomial, this sign is negative, copy and paste. Because this sign always is positive. It's okay? It's okay? Yeah, yeah. But okay, let me. Okay, so you got negative two because the x plus two to the second power is going to be negative, right? It's negative okay. two. Okay. What do you say? Okay, 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 okay. Listen to me. Typical intermediate algebra. What is the factorization of this trinomial? The factorization is x, x, 2, 2. 2, 2. Plus, plus. Yes or no? 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 plus 2 is 4. And this is x plus 2 squared. Do you understand this or no? This is your question or no? And the second is y squared minus 6y plus 9. The factorization is yy, y, 3, 3, minus minus, okay, it's equal y minus 3 squared. Okay, this trinomial, artificially, I manipulate in order to express it like a perfect a square trinomial. And the perfect square trinomial always, we have two twin brother factors. Therefore, there's a reason I write together condensing in a square. This is what your question means or no? Come on, communication. Say again. Say yes, again. Uh-huh. Hey, Hey, waiting. I don't hear. We use in the chat. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still not getting how is it negative two because I see positive two. And it's just not. My, I'm not, I can't wrap my mind around it. Okay. What is the problem? I need to understand the problem. I, I don't positive. understand how, how the center is negative two when it's two to the second power positive. Uh -huh. It's positive, I repeat again, because this sign is positive. Uh -huh. Suppose another trinomial mister, okay, change this sign to negative. Oh, okay, okay, so this sign is negative, and this sign is negative, and this sign is negative. Okay, the, the, the control of the sign in the factorization, give me in the first sign. Because I assume, or I suppose always in the perfect square trinomial, okay, this second sign is always positive. So we have no different sign. We have the same sign, minus minus or plus plus, depending on the sign in the initial, in the first sign. Okay, guys, I am teaching intermediate algebra in the morning. You can go to my, my SAAM. This is factorization, okay? Okay, does it, we have time to see the, the graphic or no? Let's go in Desmo and paper. Yeah. Sky, yes. What mean yes? Image. In paper or in, or in Desmos? Yeah. Okay, let me try. In Desmo, let's go Desmo. Much better. Uh, Desmo, I like Desmo. Okay, basically, uh -huh, remember, we have, okay, 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 I go to Desmos, okay, okay, minimize Desmos now, okay, good, example four, now example five. Mm -hmm. I create a new one folder. I want to call example five. And so the information is given was it's giving, it's giving, it's giving the, the, the general equation. Wow, horrible. The general equation is let me try to do my best super fast. Pay attention, please. X squared plus y squared. Plus 4x 
minus 6y plus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, it's a my circle. Okay, but I discovered using complete the square, that the center of this circle is located at the point negative 2, comma, positive 3. Do you remember that or no? 2, comma, negative 3. Wait, 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 wait. Negative 2, uh -huh, I put it completely opposite this sign. And negative 2, sorry, negative 2, comma, positive 3. Do you see? Wow, fantastic. This is the center. It's clear that it's the center. It's obvious that it's the center. And the radius one, look, one unit. One unit, one unit, one unit. Okay, okay, by curiosity. Curiosity now. It's the last part, I promise. I want to put the equation now in standard form. In standard form, the equation was, parenthesis, x, oh, one, only one, x, x, plus two. Uh -huh. Close the parenthesis, square. Ooh. Okay. Only one, two. Okay. Plus. Parenthesis. Y minus three. Oh, too much parenthesis. Y minus three. Minus three. Close the parenthesis. Square. Equal one. Equal one. Ooh, what's going on? Okay, okay, okay. My circle was green color, no? Now it's black. Oh, the problem is that they are perfect coincidence. It's the same. It's different equation writing in different form. However, look at that. Let me put it on enable the black one. It's the green. They are perfect coincidence. We are the best. Any question? Guys, don't forget today to submit. Test on paper. Send me by through email. Uh, test online, submit in Alex. Okay. We continue next time. More complicated. This is the, the test. This is the hard test. Number two, I need to call 911 every semester. Okay. Thank you. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Thank you, Professor. Pleasure. Thank you, Professor. Mm -hmm. Let's see, some students have a specific question. Stay. Let's wait and then we'll drink some water, refresh my mind a little bit. Uh -huh. but, but only one minute. See, one student have a specific question, stay. Okay? Drink water, I'll right back. Drink water. Professor, uh -huh. do I take a picture of the test and send it to you via email? Yes, please. Okay. Email. Okay. Okay. Try, thank you. Try to write, organize in your paper. Question one, question two. Nice. Very nice. Uh, okay. And, so you print out your test and you can write on the test. Either okay. way, it's up to you. Use your okay. imagination. Use and also, imagination. are you returning back to classes on the 28th? 28th? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, do you say October 28th? What no, are we returning back to classes on the 28th? 28, I don't understand your idea. I return? No, are we returning back to class October, September 28th? Yeah, yeah, okay, September, no, 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 September, today is 22, no? No, 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 yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. next yeah, time is 24, Back to, back to, 24, no? back to campus face to face. Ah, no, 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 no. My class is never face to face. My class is entirely remotely. You never see my face. Well, you see my face by, by, by internet. No, 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 no. You stay here in your home. At home. Okay. Okay. Do you like? Yeah. Me too. I like. Okay. Okay. Stay as long as you can have a question. Si no, question, you can leave. 